Hello, my name is Darren Pustum, and I'm a product manager here at Esri. Recently, my colleague David Adaway and I ran a professional development workshop at Esri's Federal GIS Conference in Washington, D.C. This year, there were over 5,000 attendees from across government agencies. And with more than 125 professional development workshops to choose from, we thought we would provide some of the highlights from one of our extremely popular sessions on ArcGIS Oot the intelligent way to explore, visualize, interrogate, and share 3D data. ArcGIS Earth is a free desktop app built on ArcGIS Runtime SDK 4.NET and shares the same requirements for deployment targets as other apps built with Runtime SDK. It's one of many tailored experiences for 3D in ArcGIS. In this video, David is going to be demoing many of the new features available in ArcGIS Earth 1.10, including KML editing, interactive analysis, and military symbology. See some 3,000 models and custom viewshed animations used as he recreates the landing on Omaha Beach on June 6, 1944. David? ArcGIS Earth is a lightweight 2D and 3D mapping application that enables users to easily explore and create a common picture leveraging a variety of spatial information to include your KMLs. For today, we're going to explore and begin to recreate some of the events that happened on June 6, 1944. There were many events that occurred on June 6, 1944, from the beach landings to the airborne assaults, but the one that stands out most were those that occurred on Omaha Beach. It wasn't because these were the least successful landings, but rather it was due to the movie Saving Private Ryan's depiction of these events. ArcGIS Earth enables administrators to customize the interface, allowing them to connect to existing portals, ArcGIS Online organizations, customizing the banner down at the bottom, and providing access to the rich content and information available from your organizations. The KML I added depicts the eight major causeways and the units that control each causeway to include the higher echelon. Inspecting this layer, I noticed a couple of items. First, the labeling is really hard to see. And second, the second Ranger Battalion's badge isn't being represented. I can easily go in to the properties of this KML and adjust the badge and the labeling color to make it more easy to read. So with 1.10 we can easily edit our KMLs to update the symbology, labels, and information. ArcGIS Earth 1.10 also enables us to use error handling with our existing KMLs to understand where problems may exist. Here I have another KML I'm going to add. And you'll notice that line 23, position 6, it's missing something. So I can easily go in with a text editor to line 23, and I see that this is missing its folder. I can update this, save it, Rain bring this data set back in with the corresponding KML information and images. We can continue to understand the events that occurred by adding the landing waves for the 116th Regiment. The symbology for the waves can be changed to something more suitable, such as military symbology. Here, I can adjust the military symbology and identify key information, such as its unique designation. Connecting to the portal, I can also search for and add content such as beach obstacles. And this will help provide a further picture of the events that occurred that the 116th Regiment encountered. Let's also bring in the different waves of the 116th. Connecting to the portal, I can search for and add content such as the beach obstacles. But let's take a look at what a B-17's view might have been on June 6, 1944. With my bookmarks, I can easily zoom in to a key point of information. 
you can see what those B-17s would have experienced coming in towards the beach. I can also look at all these different obstacles that I've shared with my portal, including the hedgehogs, the CS elements, the log ramps, the various balloons, and all the ways that would be encountered on the beach, as well as looking at what the perspective would have been from an NG-42 nest. Like the KML, I noticed that some of the obstacles are missing, such as a bunker that's housed the 88mm gun. I can easily come in here in ArcGIS Earth 1.10 and add this element. At 1.10, users can now easily extrude 2D features to make them 3D. So with the bunker created, I can now leverage the interactive tools to gain an understanding of what this 8mm gun could see. I can also use the elevation profile to show the train difficulties that the landing units would face when encountering this beach. ArcGIS Earth provides an easy to use lightweight 2D and 3D mapping experience where you can edit KMLs, leverage data dictionaries using military symbology, and edit the geometries of your drawing layers. Through Earth, users can easily explore, recreate events, like in this case D-Day, and provide a common picture that others can consume. We hope you enjoyed the demo. Please visit our website and download ArcGIS Earth and try it today. Thank you. Mm -hmm.